Hey, in my understanding, the wampum belt plays an important role in the telling of these stories. Wampum belts are made of, out of beads that are made from shell. And those beads are sometimes strung together in strings and are sometimes used in ceremony. They're sometimes used for sending messages. But sometimes they're woven together into belts, and there are many, many different kinds of belts, and each belt has a story about our history, about events, important events, or treaties. And so we would notice which of our young people had good memories, and we would train them to memorize the speeches uh, or the stories that go with each belt, and we would ask them from time to time to tell those stories so we would know our history so that we won't forget them. This the wampum belt that I have here, it's called Gaswenta, it's called the Turo, and this, this again is a replica of a 400-year-old wampum belt that reminds us of an agreement that was made with Europe, some of the Europeans that came to this part of the world 400 years ago. And when it became obvious that they weren't just visiting, that they were going to stay for a while, that we had to figure out a relationship between our people. We had to figure out how are we going to relate to one another. And so this, the background of this wampum belt are white beads representing a river of life. And progressing down that river of life, there are two vessels, one belonging to the Europeans and one a canoe belonging to us. And symbolically in that ship that belongs to the Europeans, symbolically are all of their people and everything that makes them who they are, how they identify themselves, their language, their history, their spirituality, their traditions, their music, dance, their stories clothing, food, is in that ship. The other vessel that's going down that river is a canoe belonging to us. And in that canoe are all of our people, symbolically, and everything that makes us who we are, how we identify ourselves. Our songs, our dances, our stories, our ceremonies, our food, clothing, history. And the agreement that was made was that we would not live side by side as father and son, but as brothers, as equals, traveling down this river of life. And that the Europeans would not leave their ship and go into our canoe and try to steer our canoe, and we would not try to steer their ship, because we would live in mutual respect with one another. We would respect each other's ways forever, down, going down this river of life. And that's still the hope. We're still hoping for that. And that's the story that we pass on because we want to keep remembering it and make it happen. Orland, do you see an equivalent on the streets of South Central LA? the equivalent of the wampum belt, the reminder of telling a certain kind of story that can help us heal the grief? Well, I would say in, in the urban setting, the, the ground carries the shrine of those whose lives are lost there. Um, at different places, there are the tags of someone died here. And so in, we say, the killing fields of our urban spaces where death has occurred so many times. It's hardly a certain places you can walk without walking upon the gravesite of someone that they know. And right here, talking to my boy. I'm standing just like this here, and I'm talking to him. We're conversating, we're just joking around. And I'm not knowing the little beef that he had going on. Hmm. So I ended up seeing the car pull right up um, in the streets. And um, pull right up, but I wasn't really tripping out. 
Mm. Me and him still come, but I see him. He come inside the front house right here. As, I, as I'm speaking to my friend, he comes out the back door mm. and shoots my friend right here. My friend died right here. And mm. while he shooting my friend, he just had his, his son. He, mm. Mm. he just had his baby and, he, uh, and his, uh, his girl is pregnant. Your friend's um, name? Oh, oh, his name's Pinyon. We called him Pinyon. So, Peanut. <laughs> his name was Darnell. Okay. And this is one of my moments. This is the first time I've seen a uh, friend, uh, friend die. Close friend of mine died right here. The place where the death itself happened stands as the informal ceremonial ground. And so something else happens in the exploration of these physical and geographic spaces. So this spot is just more memorable for me than anything because um, so, so, so this is the thing about memory. <coughs> the, earth, the earth, not just we remember, but the earth remembers too. Um, you can't forget. It doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. Yeah. And then being so close to being killed because you could have killed me too. Mm. Over and over and over, people are reinitiated into what their death means for the future. That was his son. That's his son there? That's wow. son. That's Darnell's son. Hey! That's his son. Mm -hmm. 